Hi everybody. So it's been a busy day here today. It has. And um, I'm going to get ready to shower shortly. And uh, what time is it? Getting on for half six. Um, hello, sweethearts. Um, getting on for half six. And I've had family here today and I'll have family here tomorrow. Um, Harriet's got a new water fountain that she's trying to get used to. She's a bit wary of it. Her older one, which is only a few months old, has gone downstairs for her. And she's got yet another litter tray coming, an extra, extra large one, because she's getting big. And um, it's another one with the lid on, so that will come on Monday. So all the Amazon boxes that I receive are for this one over here. <laughs> eating her food. She has her evening meal now in the bedroom <laughs> because I either want to read or I want to do a video or something or I want to relax my back after the day. <laughs> so I've had some Mother's Day gifts which I'll show you tomorrow and I'm expecting more tomorrow and um, I'm expecting more tomorrow. I know there will be more tomorrow. Um, and it's Mother and Sunday tomorrow, so it's been a lovely day today, really. Um, wanted to talk a bit about Chantal, about Voodoo. And I watched a little bit of the spectacle yesterday where she'd had... Um, I think it was oatmeal, but she got all sorts of fruit and, I don't know, syrups and stuff in it overnight. And that was for breakfast. Breakfast, about what time in the afternoon. Then she um, had a 12-inch sub. Great big thing with bits on the side whatever it was and um a big bottle of juice very good for her diabetes and then there was a pizza party and i worked out because kuwait are three hours in front of the uk so i worked out that would have been about five o'clock in the morning there um so she must have had a frozen pizza i would imagine put it in the oven and there she was gorging on the pizza. Now even with the best wood in the world and her most loyal visas would have to admit that Foodie is not looking well and it's not looking good. What we see is a very filtered version of food. What you see of me is me, not filtered. What you see of Foodie, she's got a lot of filters on there. Skin smoothing, she hasn't got skin like that. I mean, hers is full of blackheads and stuff. Um, clog pores through filth, pure filth. Going to bed with makeup on. Um, so she's got the skin smoothing filter, she's got the slimming filter, in addition to that thing that she's got holding all her face and all the chins in, and her body as well, and her hands, her hands. Are not like they're not like this. Her hands are one finger is the equivalent of two of my fingers, and her hands are like um, pig hooves. They are they're pink. They're the same colour, and they're the same shape. And as I say, even her most loyal beezers would have to admit that she's not in good shape. 
even her loyal or not so loyal husband my salad's not like any other salad my salad's not like any other emperor middle eastern prince he is a prince among princes isn't he chantal mm. prince of what crap out disgusting man with what he said he wants to do with christian women disgusting don't let him back on youtube we don't need to hear it we don't need to see him and his little pubic beard and that mouth that all the filth has come out of going back to chantal so her most loyal visas must see that she's in bad shape her beloved emperor must see that she's in bad shape He's physically close to her, remember. He sees the unfiltered version. And Chantal herself must realise the deterioration, not only in the way she looks, in the way she, um, the you know, the, the pounds that she's, she must have put on, she's over 450 pounds. I'd say she's closer to 500. She's put on a lot of weight. She's been in Kuwait. If she's eating takeout five times a week and cooking milk the rest of the time, snacking, sleeping 14, 16 hours a day or more, and not going out, not getting any sun, not getting any exercise. What a life. Not reading any books, not doing anything, not having no hobbies whatsoever. And I bet she can't even clean the cat litter tray out because of the size. She can't bend. Um, so going back going back to her health she must realize that she is on a rapidly downward spiral and the longer she's in kuwait the greater the speed is going to get you know the impetus it's going to grow um ramadan is not going to make any difference to her she sleeps all day anyway she doesn't get up till dusk. She goes to bed at dawn. So she sleeps all through the hours. So, um, and then from dusk until dawn, those are the hours that they can eat during Ramadan, which I believe starts tomorrow night, depending on the moon. Um, so she's going to be eating as she's eating. The only difference is um, whether she's going to be able to easily get takeouts. Don't know what the situation is there. But she's stockpiled, you know. You can bet she's got those chocolate bars and all the things that we don't see that she used to have. She'll have them all there. And she'll be gorging on them. If She's going to need to go on a visa run next month. So I wonder where that's going to be too. Or is it during Ramadan? I'm not sure. So I think it might be during Ramadan. So where is she going to go to? I think if she gets on a flight, her best bet is to book three seats. I'm, I'm serious to book three seats so she can pull the arms up plonk herself down in the middle one and spread out along either the seat on either side nobody nobody will want to sit next to her a because of the bulk of 500 pounds b because she, she doesn't bathe very often 
and she's admitted to that, hasn't she, in the past, and that she doesn't wash below her waist. How delightful. So even she must realise she's going to have to book three seats if she's going back to Canada, which is going to be the best thing for her to do, so that she can get at least some fundamental um, health care, even if she has to wait, as she moans about, from half eight in the morning to see a doctor. Well, go and do it. You've got nothing better to do, have you? Take your phone and scroll and um, keep texting your emperor to see what he's up to. If she doesn't go to Canada, then what's it going to be? Is Salah going to drive her to, um, I don't know, a neighbouring country, maybe, or maybe, you know, you know to Bahrain? And the chances are, when she wants to return to Kuwait and have the visa renewed, the chances are that one of these times it's going to be denied. The, the Kuwaiti authorities are not stupid, Chantal. You think everybody's stupid and you've got this entitled, arrogant opinion that everything should and will go your way. It's not. It's not going your way now. You are in a sharp decline health-wise. Your heart is failing. Your liver is failing. Your pancreas is failing. Your diabetes is out of control. Your should, uh, blood sugar levels are massively high. What is there in your life that's going right for you? And you have to threaten a return to Canada to get your emperor to come running back to you. He's going to be wanting to spend Ramadan with his family. He's only going to be back with you occasionally to <laughs> in the background or sing off key. We know you're trying to edge him back onto YouTube. Nobody wants him. He's going to be laughed off. So... Um, I sort of look forward to him coming back on so I can really give a piece of my mind as to what that thing is. Did you read my community post, Chantal, about what's happened in the UK in regards to a 13-year-old girl and certain citizens who are in this country? Um, from Kuwait and Syria. If you've read my community post, I suggest you go and read it. If you think that your rented husband is in love with you, you're totally deluded. A husband you have to pay for. No. If in the next few months you do not go back to Canada or you do not get adequate health care and you're not going to get it in Kuwait, you're not an expat. Look up what expat means. You're not one and neither are you a resident. You are on a tourist visa. And if you continue talk, talking about Salah being able to inveigle his way through loopholes, believe you me, there are going to be people in this community who will, they probably have already, deluge the Kuwaiti authorities with what you're saying in your videos. You're not going to get adequate health care in Kuwait. You don't have the money to pay for adequate health care in Kuwait. And whatever your husband says, 
it's your money he's talking about spending after he's creamed off what he needs to cream off for himself. You're a very, very, very foolish woman. You're going to be 40 toward the end of this month. 40. I doubt you will reach the grand old age that life by Jane will, the way you're going, quite frankly. And I take no pleasure in saying that. I'm not one of the people who wish that sort of thing on you or anybody else. My advice, coming from somebody a lot older than you, a lot wiser than you, a lot more experience of life than you, my advice will be get those three seats and get to Canada. Sort your health out. Sort your bank out. Take everything back out of his name and get your life back together. Because the way you're living, as Marianne, is really not living at all.